Good morning and welcome to the Forex Daily Update, brought to you by Pepperstone on Friday the 18th of May 2018. I'm Darren Sindon and you can follow me throughout the day on Twitter by using at DS underscore Pepperstone. Right, let's take a look at overnight changes and price moves to be aware of. And a relatively quiet session uh, overnight on the world's foreign exchanges. No real major moves to speak of, save for the US dollar's gains against the Indian rupee, uh, the dollar adding 0.34% uh, against the Indian currency. The dollar index, for its part, uh, relatively impassive, 93.44 trading shortly before we went on air. Uh, change of around minus 0.3%. 0.3%, so slightly easier overnight, and it'll be interesting to see how the dollar finishes what has been a pretty hectic week for the US currency. In the world of cryptocurrencies, uh, modest losses uh, for Bitcoin down around 0.72%, uh, and Ethereum gaining 0.32% shortly before we recorded the video. Right, what's on the calendar then? Events that may move the markets today. A pretty busy calendar, uh, packed with data. We've Got at 6 a.m. GMT, producer price index data out of Germany, uh, at both a headline and wholesale price index level. Now that's followed at 7 a.m. by the first of three central bank speeches today, this one by FOMC member Meister. Then at 8 a.m. Uh, GMT will have current account and trade balance data out of the Eurozone. Of course, uh, these kind of uh, data points uh, play right into the, the discussion about international trade sanctions and protectionism. At 12.30, we will hear from uh, Canada in the shape of retail sales data, both with and X autos for March. And that's accompanied at 12.30 GMT by a raft of consumer price index data out of Canada core and headline rates, as well as the Bank of Canada's own uh, CPI measures. 13.15, we'll see the second and third of today's central bank speeches. FOMC members Kaplan and Brainard both taking to the stand there uh, to give us the benefit of their experience and wisdom. And at 1700, as ever to round off the week, the influential Baker Hughes US oil rig count. Right then, breaking news and comment that's caught my eye overnight. First of all, Donald Trump has used both the carrot and the stick to encourage North Korea back towards the nuclear negotiation table making veiled threats if the, if the Koreans don't come back to the table, but promising them wealth and prosperity if they do. US 10-year Treasury yields have touched a seven-year high of 3.1% in Asian trade, whilst Brent crude has tested above $80 per barrel. Japanese inflation has slowed once more in March, data shows, at both consumer and core levels, and the data remains well adrift of the Bank of Japan's 2% targets, suggesting that monetary policy would stay on the loose side for the foreseeable future. And Bank of Mexico has kept its interest rate steady at 7.5%. Right, food for thought then, something to take away with you into the trading day and beyond, and why not think about this? We tend to think of the relationships between financial instruments as being long-lasting and rarely subject to deviations from the norm. However, markets are dynamic and as such are open to many external influences and factors. But this chart of Brent crude versus dollar index is the perfect example of a break from the financial orthodoxy. And as we're all well aware, a stronger US dollar is usually seen as being negative uh, for commodities. However, in recent weeks, we've seen the dollar strengthening. And this is the uh, downward trending line here. But at the same time, this blue line, the price of Brent crude oil, has been moving inexorably higher. And I think that sums up pretty much what's going on at the markets at the moment. Uh, we're in a period of change of flux, if you will, uh, and it will be key for us to watch uh, and see how long that continues for. Right, please do take a moment to read the risk warning. Trading CFDs and foreign exchange on margin can be a risky business. If you're in any doubt about those risks or the suitability of these products for you, then please do contact your Pepperstone account representative. Thank you for your time.